The Tianoi Community Forest is a joint effort between a lot of different organizations for a lot of different goals. On this particular lease, there's a lot of fish habitat and fish and game. They've all spent a lot of time and effort into rebuilding fish habitat, so there's critical zones that they'd like to keep the cattle out of. The cattle with the virtual fence collars really allows us to stay away from the sensitive areas and get cows out grazing where they need to be. Here in the Tianoi Community Forest, we see virtual fencing as a way to help Fish and Wildlife's mission of restoring the North Fork TNOA. So the way that our virtual fencing works is we have base stations that are able to communicate to the GPS receivers that cattle have on their collars. When the cattle start to approach those zones that we want to exclude uh, cattle from, they will get a humane pulse to allow them to react and turn the other direction. And so that's how we keep cows out of our sensitive areas along streams that we're working with Fish and Wildlife to restore and to keep the cows in areas where we would like them to be to utilize a lot of the grasses and those shrubs because that's going to help us reduce high severity fire. One of the big benefits of the virtual fence is that you can move them accordingly and we can manage cattle on areas without a lot of fencing. The real reason that we want to manage cattle is to regenerate the grasses and the, the vegetation which starts with the soil. Every plant has a purpose, so the more diversity you have in your grass types, the healthier the soil is. The idea is to get everything grazed off and then give it enough time to recover. I think taking care of, of public ground or really any ground is becoming more important all the time because everybody cares more about it. Our cattle are here to help keep this a healthy forest that people can come and enjoy. Mm -hmm.